Alright, a Kerbal stream today. We're going to, um, right, I haven't played Kerbal for a little bit, so I hope I can remember all the controls. My aim this time, or our aim this time, is to build, I'd like to build another launch vehicle and try and improve on the ones we've got. Right, we have L116B2, I think it is. Yeah, B3, right? L16B3. Right, my bother is this. I want a... This this thing uh, brings fuel and resources and kerbals up to the space stations. And I'd like to uh, rebuild the spacecraft itself so that it's more reusable and easier to pilot on its way back and I'd like to build a new launch vehicle. So, should we build the complete stack? Which bit, which bit should we do first? The launcher. I'd like to try asparagus staging. I know I've done asparagus staging before, I know how it works, but I use the solids down here just for cheapness, but then they got a lot of as as the weight's grown, I've, I've stuck more solids on the bottom, and um, it's just decreased the reusability because the central core we bring back, what we normally bring back, not always in 100% pieces uh, in one piece, but the central core we do bring back. It's got little wings on it, and it has some control on the way back. So I'm wondering if we could rebuild the central stack, maybe just use either asparagus staging or just a fewer number of solids on the, to uh, launch everything. Because we've got two vector engines on the bottom. I wonder if we can increase that to four. And then start with that. So this has one large tank, two large tanks and one smaller tank. So if we... Um, could we have three? large tanks but then as we increase the height you know it becomes a bit more uh, unstable I don't know should we do some experiments what is what what number do we got so I was numbering my uh, rockets the launch vehicles as we went up the last number we've got is L132 so our next one will be L133 So, let's disconnect this from here. Alright, take that off. And, um, do we need to note anything down? Alright, um, Let's just go with it, let's just go with it. Right, so we've got this launch vehicle. So we could build a launch vehicle in the other facility, couldn't we? Now let's exit. Don't save, we don't save that. So I've tried building space frames before, so L1, let me write down L133, L133, right? Space plane hanger, hanger. So I've tried building space planes before. We haven't got very far, we haven't got something that's... Uh, the next number we should have is L106. See, crap like this just doesn't work. Yeah, it's just silly. Because if we can build something that just glides back, it doesn't necessarily need lots of fuel and that. So 
so P106. I'll just save this text file. I got a text file on the other monitor, so I'll just save it in um, my OneDrive documents as Kerbal. Kerbal dev. For now. Right, let's go back into Kerbal. Right, so let's go for a new one. New. Right. Sort by mass, we need something that'll take at least five kerbals. So we've got that. Where is it? Weighs loads. But how many kerbals can a sit seat four? Where's that? Can seat two. And this seats two. We could go back here. We could have that and that. I think there's four kerbals in there. We have to get this. It has to have um, RCS. I'll be able to dock to space stations. But it doesn't need a lot of fuel, does it? to go there or on the bottom or on top. I suppose we put it there. And then have some fuel tanks. Fuel tanks. One propellant. So we can do without the one propellant tank, tanks, and then just have um, the vernier, the other thrusters. No, hang on, I've got a cup of tea with me, so I can drink. Um, that's the smallest tank. That's the largest tank. Liquid fuel in it, right. rocket fuel. Because if this is only going to be used for deorbiting and changing orbit, we don't need, in theory. By reliability, and, uh, is the vector too much? Do you reckon this is only going to be used for deorbiting? This one's going to be called P106. Deorbit. Deorbiter. So we'll bring the aero center behind the center of mass because we've got to remember the. Because it's going to be doing it on the way back, we need to decrease the amount of 
fuel into to zero in all these things so that it's still balanced when there's no fuel in it. Because when there's fuel in it, the, the center of gravity is going to move back, isn't it? So we've got to get the center of gravity behind the, the um, in front of the center of um, thing. The arrow center. We're going to use. We're going to make it a delta. trying to remember all the curve controls. It doesn't have to have huge massive wings, does it? I click, accidentally click load, right, save. Where's the um, pods, fuel tanks? Where's the um, remote control thing? Put that on there just in case we need it. Can we drink a cup of tea? I should mute, shouldn't I? I should mute. is all gone. Alright, where's the um, aerodynamics? Where's the flying surfaces? Get the bombs and that. Very exacting. I don't like clipping. Maybe it's just I know it's personal preference, but I just don't like. I'd like to minimise clipping. Just like that. Press C. Yeah, I'm pressing C, which changes the snap. The snap, so you can um, finally adjust stuff. That you'll have, it doesn't work with your pitch. And then you'll have a Select the move tool up there, make the press C to make sure snap is off. Just bring that closer there. Ok, 
okay, so it's not perfect. That doesn't work with you. Let's save. I need vertical stone, we need vertical, so we've got your, so your works. There's a smaller end on there, could we just use a smaller end one? Those will work with everything, right? So, stick some gear on it. It's probably not going to work. It just looks so. Hit X to get rid of symmetry. Seeds and stick on clipping the um, snapping. No skier position doesn't really matter too much as long as that position. Hold that and stick some more at the main gear. larger gear there do you think? It's see to get rid of snapping so we can move it. Some large gear there, can we? So the next one up. Remember, if this is only going to be used in landing. that into the gear position and then we'll start adding add all the fuel back. So if there was one button to just add fully add fuel or fully remove fuel that would be useful wouldn't it? Oh that's a liquid fuel tank not a not a rocket fuel tank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we even need that? Mm. Reduce its weight and not have it at all. If you just have the monoprop back. There, yeah, okay. So the centre of gravity is by there. Remember it's landing only, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. But we'll I think we'll do a takeoff test. Sit slightly nose down, won't it? Yes, we could try moving that this back. So holding the shift button and using the right 
mouse button and the scroll wheel to, to change position of the camera. Old C to get it snap into the middle. Is that going to be slightly nose up? Is that going to be fine? We've got to move. Um, toggle snap so we've got a bit more finer control. Slightly nose down. Got to move. Okay. Down just a touch. Save. I can't remember what else we need on this. Oh yeah, we're going to have the verniers, weren't we? I can't to control. I think there's these, you've got to have one pointing forward. But then it's got monoprop on the here, so we could just have little monoprops on it. But then we might not need to dock this to anything because we've got the transfer vehicles in in orbit. We've got their own manoeuvring systems and they can manoeuvre onto this rather than, than the other way around. And that will reduce the complexity of this, won't it? We don't have electrical panel panels or solar panels or electrical on here, do we? We don't. I guess that starts making it look ugly when we start sticking solar panels and stuff on the outside. when you're in orbit anyway. Alright, should we give it, give it a go? Test it out on the runway? I'm still in my career game, so we'll save it before we take off, because I don't want to damage or cause any problems in the career game by killing Kerbals. We'll do a quick save and a, and a slow save. Right, F5. Right, I don't have the controller. I haven't set up the controller again, so... Uh, Because we're taking off, we don't need um, torque on. Because we're going to be aerodynamic, we don't need to torque on. We're taking off like a bit, like a plane. This is not going to go into space from here. Or I'll, the the plan is to stick it on top of a rocket or something. Um, where is it? Toggle torque. And people, toggle torque. So now it's not going to wibble about. 
Right, let's set the trim. The trim is out. Is it out? Yeah, out. And then you can see the trim moving. Set the trim like that. Put the nose up. Set the throttle, max throttle, because we're in dynamic. We don't need SAS in theory. It's full fuel. F5. Alright, let's see if we get airborne. So if we brought this back from orbit it'd be fine wouldn't it? Don't know if we can do a whole circuit. I'm using the keyboard controllers because I haven't had set up my my um, controller for a while. Altitude. I mean, another thing I'll do on this is stick, I'll cover it in um, uh, parachutes because, you know, for safety, it just gives us that error, that um, safety margin. So we only need to get close to the runway, we don't have to get onto the runway. Coming back from orbit with this. Of course, when we're coming back from orbit, it won't have that much fuel left, or I don't know how much fuel it'll have left. Throttle now. Let's see if we can glide it in. Simple up out. And decreasing the um, the trim. Flight OK. Still got the brakes on here. Move a bit fast, maybe. Speed bleed off. There, perfect. A good space plane on there. Tap the brakes.
Hopper 2. It's not bad at all. I think, I think, I think that goes quite well. Alright, because I don't want to make this video too long, we've been recording for over half an hour, so uh, maybe we'll carry on trying to make this space plane and a new lifter and you know launch stage and try and make the thing come back. Thank you for watching, because if the video is too long, you know, people get bored and they click off of it. So I'll just try and keep it to half an hour videos. I'm surprised we made that in half an hour. Subscribe. That's what, you know, that's what popular YouTubers do, didn't it? They, so they say subscribe and they put spam on the screen. Subscribe, click the bell, whatever. It just sounds too silly to say that. Stop waffling on.